You tired? What? You ain't done nothing. I don't care. I'm taking my nap. Like, this don't make no sense. It's just nasty in here. And you... I'm done talking. This... I'm dead. I'm done. Like, this don't do it. This... Over. Like this though, it's really. I don't know what to, I don't know what to do. Exit. I'm gonna have to sleep on the couch tonight. Cause I, I'm telling you. I'm gonna have to sleep on the couch and That's come in here and clean this you, up. Bro, sleep on the couch. What's that? That. Oh, I thought that was a. Give me five to All this stuff everywhere. You got your pole. You got your pole. I need twenty dollars. I gotta go to the store later. I, I don't I don't know what to say. I just what you don't. Got know. 20? I I I'm, I don't know what to say. This this is really outrageous. Uh, happy Valentine's to you too. Yeah right. What you get me? Uh, you you you, you, you I ain't, I ain't get you nothing. You gonna, no, baby, you, you ain't get nothing if you you need to clean up. You not getting, you think you deserve something because you ain't clean. It made no sense. You got stuff right here too. You ain't even fed the cat or nothing. Don't make no sense. Man, a wise man once said, change your environment. Don't let your environment change you, bro. This is wild, man. You know, after scrolling through their page, it comes to find out that this is exactly how they live. And I, as a, as a man that works, you know, like I, I totally get it, dude. You out there busting your ass, and if your girl's at home and that's what you gotta come home to, bro, why are you allowing that, dude? And it, if you're okay with that, by, by all means, y'all are made for one another. If you're okay with that, y'all are made for one another. The moment you said that you might have to sleep on the couch because you would rather sleep on the couch than sleep in the bed full of all that stuff. And how do you even get there, dog? That's the point where you need to change, man. That's the point where you need to stay on her ass, man. Let her clean the house, man. All right? Uh, I don't know if it's for cap or whatever, bro. But look, dude, you out there working and grinding. She needs to be, if she's at home, she needs to be taking care of that shit. Like, sh straight up, dude. That's, I mean, any right woman in their mind i'm pretty sure there's a woman like man look you you know i'm all about sharing the load but that's just that's just you know she she needs to clean that even that type of woman would tell you that she needs to clean bro everybody's on your side man busting a 12-hour shift and have to come home to that and sleep on the couch bro no man stand your ground dude and i really hope hopefully somewhere along the line this is just for fun I, I really hope that this is just for TikTok or, you know, social media for Cap, dude. I really just hope that things get better for you, man. I'm sorry, dude. Valentine's Day and she still wants something? Damn, dude. What you gonna do? What is your gift at? I mean, at least could have gifted you with a clean room, right? If anybody can have you, what I'm supposed to do with you? You like a roach. You at everybody's house? Nah. You don't even know your worth. You giving yourself away for pennies on the dollar. Then you want to come to me acting priceless. You... Girl, God is going to love you unconditionally. And I love that for him. I love that for the Lord. However, my condition is act like you're worth more than a hot and spicy and some. Mm. Can't say that. Baby, I thought side chick Valentine's Day be the next day. Or am I tripping? Why my cousin just put in the group chat her Valentine's Day stuff? I know for sure she a side chick. She said, he gave me my son, y'all, look. Mine bought her a little Pandora, a little stuff, a little Pandora ring, a little viral ring. Bought her a little ring, some as a promise ring. Bought her some flowers, a Chick-fil-A gift card. What else she had? I said flower, right? She had something else, a little bird, like a little regular, a little devil little stuff. Baby, I should post me got that shit the next day or am I tripping? I ain't hating. But I just want to ask TikTok. I, ain't, I thought side chick day be the next day. <laughs> so they done change it so the side chick get their stuff the day before? Nah, bro. Side chick still get their side chick. They have their day, bro. They just get their stuff on the later day, I guess, bro. Is what I'm saying. Look, she just got... So the main girl then turned into the side chick, I assume now, bro. Uh, just, she just got the fire, bro. She just got the fire and said she got the Chick-fil-A, bro. And that's just what it is. Look, 
Guys, y'all probably out there talking, uh, thinking about it right now, man. Watching this video, man. I need to get my other girl something, man. What I need to get on the side here. <laughs> Better send her some, some DoorDash. Dude, I cannot. What does that say? Thottish Prevention. Thought, uh, National Thottish Behavior <laughs> Prevention. <laughs> Department of Hose and Insecurity. <laughs> You know what's funny, man? That is funny, but I'm pretty sure, bro, you get pulled over for that. Uh, impersonate a police officer or a vehicle, bro. That shit has to get pulled over some sort of way. Like, you know, trust me, I've seen a lot of funny shit go down and they always wind up getting trapped. But this is the best one. This is the best one. Out there patrolling the thoughts, you know. I can't be the only one who feels like having a roster is childish. <laughs> like, to me, it just screams that you need constant stimulation and constant reassurance to define who you are through someone else like i just feel like it's hard enough to keep up with one person but the reason why i think this way is because i really only date one at a time let's say you're dealing with two three people at the same time like i don't see it being plausible for you to provide the same amount of energy to each one of them and if you could do that kudos to you but i can't keep up yeah man having rosters ladies i don't know how you do it bro especially ladies because you're gonna get four or five guys and you already know what they want you already know what they want you might have one simp one beta in the group but if you have three four roster guys they want to clap all right how do you keep up with that so you go ahead and keep these rosters you're letting them all clap you're dating them bro you're saving money doing all this and that and then then what you know, the guy finds about finds out about the other guy. You claim that, you know, you're not a thot or you're not out there smashing everybody you come across it. But it sure does look like it. If you got a roster six deep. I the asshole for not giving my husband my saying. escape money when I saw that we were financially struggling. I, 34 female, have recently ran into a situation with my husband, 37 male. And I'm curious about if I'm the asshole here or not. So me and my husband have been together for eight years, married for seven. When I got married, my mother came to me privately and talked about setting aside money as a rainy day slash escape fund if worse came to worse. My husband has never showed any signs of being dangerous and- We already know women are out there with their six, six slick, excuse me, slick side escape fund. Meanwhile, man is busting his ass, paying for everything. And sometimes when you pay for everything, you can't save because you pay for everything. Meanwhile, your girl over there have a whole nest egg just in case something goes wrong, she can leave your ass. And you stuck out high and dry. Rarely even gets upset. But the way my mom talked about it, it seemed like a no brainer to have. When me and my husband got together, we agreed I would be a stay at home wife. We are both child free, so that was never a concern. My husband made a comfortable mid six figure salary, all was good until about two years ago. He was injured at work in a near fatal accident. Between hospital bills and a lawsuit that we lost, that ate up nearly all of our savings. I took a part-time job while my husband was recovering. But when he fully recovered, we transitioned back into me being unemployed, as my husband insisted that it was his role to provide. He is currently working two full-time jobs and Ubers on his days off to keep us afloat. Here's where I might be the asshole. I do all the expense managing, and I've continued to put money into my escape account. Although I significantly decreased from 750 a month to 200 a month. My husband came home exhausted one night and asked about downsizing because of all the stress of work was going to kill him. I told him downsizing would not be an option as I had spent years making our house a home and offered to go back to work. He tried to be nice, but basically told me. Oh my God, are you serious? You made it a home, but you're not, you're not paying for the expenses to make it a home. Like you gotta get, you, you have to understand that the man literally, look, Men, I know y'all hear me, man. When you are but absolutely working to your, even skin falls off, blood, sweat, and tears, bro. Remember, even a workhorse gets tired. And you actually get to a point where you, you say it out loud. Yo, these bills are killing me, man. We need to do something. Something has to change. That That's a pinnacle pivot point that something has to happen. And for her to not accept that, bro, what? Me that me going back to work wouldn't make enough. 
After an argument, my husband went through our finances to see where we could cut back. He was confused when he saw I had regular reoccurring withdrawals leading back years and asked me about it. I broke down and revealed my money to him, which now sits at $47,000. After I told him all of this, he just broke down sobbing. His Hold on, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He worked and did all this. You ciphered from that money to make your own personal private money. But meanwhile, he will bust his ass, love you, let you stay at home, let you be cool, let you turn a house into a home. Meanwhile, you're ciphering money from the pot. Point of view is I treated him like a predator and hid money from him for years, even when he was at his lowest. I told him that the money was a precaution I would have taken with any partner and not specific to him. He left the house to stay with his brother and said I hurt him on every possible level. But my mom says this is exactly what the money is for and I should bail now. Am I the asshole? To label it and have it in your mind as an escape. Wow, mom is the reason why you're gonna get a divorce, bro. Mom is the reason why. No, that was supposed to be emergency fund money for the both of you guys. That was the money he earned for the both of you guys to live a healthy lifestyle, not for you to go live a, a, a just in case lifestyle after y'all break up. The main reason why you're gonna have this money for emergency funds is you're gonna have to spend it now because you're getting a divorce for taking the exact same money. Yes, man, she's an asshole. That shit pisses me off, man. Golly. He called me delusional, but I think he meant to say delicious. Like, I don't know. Like, it's something about that. This is not sitting right with me. So, like, uh, y'all would be missing out on a good woman. I would speak life to you. I'm gonna love you. I got all my teeth. I got these braces. I got all my teeth. I'm very I'm feminine. <laughs> I'm a cook. I'm gonna wash your clothes. I'm gonna fold your clothes. My friends know, like, I, I'm a woman woman. I'm a woman's woman, like, in real uh -huh. life. I earn your clothes. I run your bath water. All that. Uh-huh. And I feel like one of the the biggest things is I know how to speak life into a man. Like, I'm not going to tear you down. I'm going a, I'm to a talk life into you. I'm going right. to feed you because I would want you to do the same for me. Um, you know, I get a little sassy at times, right? Wow. Um, I'm real loyal and I'm real passionate. And uh, I'm a team player. If, if we rocking, we rocking. How we finna go get this 100K, babe? What, what we doing? Let's figure it out. Like, I'm... And I could cook. What you like? I could cook. I like to cook. Real. What you what you be cooking over there? I cook everything. I just made some homemade chili the other day, and my DMs went crazy. <laughs> I made some pot roast the other day. I could host the whole holiday now. I don't get it, man. So you can do all these things, but why are you single and don't have a man? How you run bath water and iron clothes and cook because you're a beast, work hard, you work truck, and you making your own money, but how are you single? How hasn't a man came and approached you for that? I mean, you got to, you're getting your teeth together. Like, what about all that makes sense, guys? Tell me. How does that make sense? Something is not adding up. That story ain't telling you, that story ain't storying.